Now, a school project part of National History Day sparks a fast friendship between two seventh grade students in East Tennessee and the last living survivor of the USS Arizona sunk during the surprise attack on Pearl Harbor. Whenever we first started the project, because we knew that there was still a survivor out there, but we didn't know really who it was. This was in 2020. He was at the Pearl Harbor Memorial. And Two seventh grade students in East Tennessee tackled what became a life changing school history project together. Best friends. Yep, yep since preschool. Since preschool. <laughs> Allie and Charlie put pen to paper late last year and became some of the last people to correspond with the last living American sailor aboard the USS Arizona, sunk during the infamous D-Day attack. So whenever we saw he was the last one, we were like, we've got to get to him because he's 102. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The surprise bombing by the Japanese military on the U.S. base in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, drove the United States to join the fight in World War II. 7.53 a.m., the first wave of planes attack. 50 medium bombers and 43 A6M Zero fighters. More than 80 years later, two curious 13-year-olds wrote to Pearl Harbor survivor Lou Conter. You're 13? 13. He's 102. Yeah. To their surprise, yeah. he wrote back. Wow. Yeah, he called us his little girls from Tennessee because in the picture, apparently, I guess we looked young, yes. really young in the picture. <laughs> so I was just sitting there and then I got a face on call from Allie and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> and then she was like, we got the letter. And I was like, oh, my gosh, mom, come here. At age 20, Lou Conter was on the deck of the USS Arizona just after dawn on December 7th, 1941, when enemy bombs began to obliterate his ship. He then spent almost a half hour rescuing fellow shipmates. 335 survived, 1,177 died. They gave the ultimate, their life for the United States, and everybody should remember that. The first question says, what was your thought process during the attack? So he said, the attack was so sudden that we didn't have enough time to think. Our training kicked in and we started pulling our shipmates out of the burning oil onto the deck. You know, I want my students to feel history and like what better way to do that than to hear the stories from the people that lived them. So if they can do that, oh man, that's like, that's glorious. I mean, and the reality is these are the last two reporters who may have had a conversation with this veteran. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. To as he calls them little, my little girls from Tennessee, to have that moment. And I was so thankful to have Lou be remembered that way by some of my students who reached out. Uh, I think Lou, they told me, I think Lou said, protect the future, remember the past. And that was like one of his big goals. He used to sign that on everything he signed. He said, dear girls, thank you for your interest in the attack on Pearl Harbor. I'm always happy when young people show an interest because it usually means that it will carry on the legacy and it won't be forgotten. Pearl Harbor is something I will never forget. I was 20 years old and in a matter of minutes my life changed forever. I lost 1,177 shipmates in the attack. None of us who served there will ever forget the horror of that day. What does he mean to you as a person in your life? Um, he's one of my really close friends now. <laughs> I'll never forget him. Lou Conter's signature phrase is how he closed his first letter to his little girls from Tennessee. Two teenagers living his life goal. Protect the future, remember the past. A couple of months after receiving the letter and signed photos, the girls booked a trip to meet their new best pen pal. But when they arrived in California, Lou's health took a turn and that celebrated American sailor was too sick to see them. The last living survivor of the attack on the USS Arizona at Pearl Harbor died this spring at the age of 102. And you can read their letters right now at WBIR.com.